Hello everybody, I'm Dakota Jordan Liness, the scribe of Hobby Fostro. This is the channel of Hobby Fostro. Thank you so much for tuning in to Hobby Fostro. And today, we're going to be making some barbecue chicken with a side of mashed potatoes, sweet potato edition. Let's get right into grilling, and let's get willing. So the steps are simple enough. You're going to want to get your chicken and just douse it with some of your favorite sauce. It doesn't necessarily have to be uh, buffalo sauce or barbecue, but those are personal favorites of mine. So therefore, that's what I am going with. Now what we're gonna wanna do is mix our sauces all nice and good right onto our chicken. Now obviously there are several thousand million trillion ways to mix your sauces together. Me personally, I'm an artist. I've got everything I need, I don't look back. Therefore, I prefer to paint my sauces on my chicken like an artist, just like Bob Ross. Oh, and uh, by the way, as you're grilling, make sure that as you alternate the sides, that you also reapply the sauce with each bit. It doesn't have to be a considerably big amount, just, you know, enough to give a flavor that we can all savor because you know, this is all one big fruits of our labor. I'm an artist and I'm a poet. Now let's get our grill all nice and preheated. As for the potatoes, you are going to want to get a full pot of water. Then turn your stove on to the right kind of temperature to get it to boil. Then give that a little bit. Next, we're going to want to get some nice rinsed sweet potatoes and since sweet potatoes tend to be a tougher kind of crop, I say it's perfectly fine to use a sponge that's free of soap. Now, as we are waiting for our water to boil, this is actually a really good time to get started with cutting up our potatoes. And once again, I'm going to be using one of these Schmidt Bros knives. By the way, click disclaimer that these knives are incredibly sharp. And now let's get into cutting up our potatoes. Some people prefer potatoes with the skin, some people prefer it without. I actually am one of those individuals that does in fact prefer the skin on my potatoes because that way I'm getting all the nutrients and it's also a real big time saver, frankly. Now when it comes to mashing your potatoes, clearly the smaller you cut them, the more easier they will be to mash. However, you don't have to go too crazy with mash with cutting them up because at the end of the day they get softened up either way once the water is done boiling. Now we're going to want to take our chicken as our potatoes are boiling and put them all right on the grill. One by one just take each one of these lovely pieces of chicken and put them each right on the grill with a fair amount of space so each one has a fair amount of time to cook for itself. And for the sake of a quicker cooking, we're going to close the lid but also for the sake of not burning our food, we're gonna lower the temperature just a bit. This will also prevent from a fire from appearing like the last time. Once the water is boiled enough, then we wanna put our sweet potatoes right into the boiling water so that they will get softer. And we will also want to add a little bit of salt. And I'm also gonna do something fairly experimental and grate a little ginger into the mix. Also, don't forget to stir gradually. While we're waiting, why not mix up our sauce a little bit, like we're mixing up a painting. 
enough. This is to say that I've got my painter's palette all ready. Now, after an initial 10 minutes, we're gonna take a look at our chicken. All right, it looks like it's making progress. Now, we're gonna turn each one over. Now that they're all turned over, we can also start applying our sauce mixture on each turned side. Voila! Now, we are going to let these close, maybe lower our temperature just a little bit, and we'll be back to check on these in five minutes. And now is a very good time to, once again, continue to gradually steer up the pot. All right, it's been five minutes. Check on them again. Woo -wee. They're looking pretty good. Now let's flip them over once again. And also I'm going to take our sauce mix and reapply on each drumstick. Now we're gonna close it once again, leave the temperature as it is right now, and we'll check back on this in five more minutes. And now's a good opportunity to steer our potatoes once again. Okie dokie, now to check on our chicken once again. And they look like they are getting close to finish. Now, let's turn them once again. Judging by the sight of them right now, I'd say that one more session of either five, maybe three minutes should do just about good. And now to apply our sauce once again, and yes, I have re-stocked on the sauce. I love barbecue and buffalo so much. Now let's close that and leave it for five minutes, I think will be good. And of course we're going to steer the pot once again. And I actually think that this is a really good time to get to mashing the potatoes. So you're going to want to strain your potatoes, turn off your stove, put the potatoes back in the pot, And let me tell you, after this last five minutes, whoa, holy moly, they sure do smell done. And by the looks of it, they look done. So let's flip them over one last time. This way we can apply the final coat of our sauce on there and we can get to feasting. Now, when it comes to chicken, I will say, that it's best to have them not overcooked or undercooked, but if it is to be one or the other, then undercooked is definitely worse than overcooked. We definitely want to be thorough when it comes to cooking up chicken. And voila, I think they are ready to be served.
Well, after they cool down, that is. And now let's get to mashing our potatoes. Mind you, there probably are more effective ways of mashing potatoes, but what have you, this is the method I'll use. And I say that's mashed enough. And now I think we're ready to, well, as soon as it's done cooling too, but I think we'll be ready to feast soon. Friends, thank you for joining me once again for a meal. I'm Dakota Jordan Liness, the scribe of Hobby Fostro. This is the channel of Hobby Fostro. Thank you so much for tuning in to Hobby Fostro. And a quick shout out to Sparkling Ice. This is one of my favorite drinks ever. It's a sparkling water that comes with flavor and it's got zero carbs, zero sugar, zero this, that, this, that, but it's got plenty of taste and it's got 15% of all the essential vitamins Peace, love, and understanding, and remember to follow the crow wing black cat.